What's up guys? I have a letter from Danian in Texas, open on camera. So we are going to do just that. But we're gonna need a cool knife to do so, right? How about this one? This one was uh, heavily requested for review, been testing it, and this one is going to be reviewed very soon. And then after the review, this one will go up with the other ones for sale very soon. So stay tuned for that. So I'm going to carefully actually I want to open this, but I don't want to show the return address on the back. <laughs> I want to make sure I'm not cutting anything on the inside, and of course it's difficult because I don't want to show the guy's address. So, let's see what's in here. Letter. Something heavy in here. Oh, cool. Coin. This says... Well, I can't read it because I... I'm not sure, I'm not even sure where this is from. Hmm. Well, you guys might know. Let me zoom in a little bit and show you this. Let's see. Let's look at it together. The, I can't read any of it. But there's that guy on it. And he's in brass. And the back looks like this. And it looks like it's 10 something. I'm not sure. Looking at the uh, designs, I mean, it looks a little bit oriental of some kind. I don't know. I don't know. You guys might know, you know, better than I do. But anyway, maybe it says it in the letter here. Okay, let's see. Open on camera. I don't mind my name uh, or contact info being seen. Open on camera. All right, cool. So, December 3rd, 2014. Uh, first off, I would like to say that I love your videos and I watch them religiously. I love your knife and uh, Zippo reviews and story time videos. Uh, you are a great speaker. Thank you very much. Uh, and I thank you for the mo for motivating me to start my own collections, including included in this letter is a uh, Thailand. Okay, very cool. Now we know. See, all I do is read the letter. Thailand 10 bot coin. B-A-H-T. Um, it's not much, but it's special to me. It would be an honor if you kept it. Thank you for all your videos and keep it up. Uh, a frequent watcher, um, Danian, I think that's an N. I hope I'm saying your name right. I don't know. Oh, maybe it's Darian. Hold on. Let me refer. Where'd the letter go? Oh. You see the back of the letter here. I think it's Danian, but I apologize if I'm wrong. Uh, Acre. And looks like his thing is Gothic Cucumber. That's a memorable name. Gothic Cucumber on YouTube. All right, very cool. Uh, handmade envelope for the win. Yeah, that's right. I did notice that. That this envelope is not... It wasn't a... Here, let me cover this. Yeah, he made the envelope, which is very cool. Awesome. Yes, totally for the win. So, thank you very much. I really appreciate that. I will uh, hang on to this. I actually have some coins from all around the world, so it is special to me. And uh, after struggling to try to figure out where it's from, I will remember now that it's from Thailand. It's very cool. Actually, I don't think, I don't believe offhand that I have any kind of coins from Thailand. So that is super cool. So thank you very much. I really appreciate that. This one comes from Dan from uh, Midland. And I'm going to open this with a snowy uh, fixed blade. So let's try to be careful. Never quite know what's inside. Don't want to cut anything. Oh, cool. Okay. So we have a nice Christmas present, looks like. And a note. Let me make sure I can read this on camera. I think I can. Uh, hey, Jeff. I would like to wish you and your family a Merry Christmas. Thank you very much. Same to your family. Uh, congrats to you and uh, you and your wife on your marriage as well. I wanted... I watched a recent EDC video where you mentioned you needed a new iPhone case. Uh, so enclosed is two cases for the iPhone 4 that I no longer need, and I hope you'll enjoy them. Thank you for all the great videos. I've been a fan for many years. Uh, have a great birthday as well, Dan. And there's his YouTube channel, Dragon7697. Dan, that is absolutely awesome. I mean, I really, really appreciate that. That's so, so cool of you. Uh, I'm gonna hang on to this. I'm not gonna open this yet because I'm gonna see if anything else comes because I was gonna do like a, a YouTube unboxing video So I'm gonna be a good boy and put this underneath the tree and I'm not gonna peek or anything. I'm not like that I like surprises um, And I will open that on either Christmas Eve or Christmas and you will see that in the YouTube unboxing video
All right, guys, I have something else I want to show you. I already unboxed this, but I wanted to uh, make sure this gets on camera. This stuff is, is super, super cool. I'll read you the uh, letter real quick that came with it. It says, Merry Christmas, Jeff. Uh, thought about buying you a Grantsford's Brux Axe, uh, but after last year's video, uh, you might get a bunch of them. Uh, tried to think of something different instead. A couple of, um, a couple of old maps of PA uh, and some smoking paraphernalia. Probably too small for your cigars, uh, but still old and you can always barter with them. The holder is amber and rose gold, uh, and the cutter is sterling silver. All the best to you and Christina, and that is from Bernard. Super, super cool stuff. So first off, send me this really old map. I'm not sure if it's a reproduction map um, or if it's a period original, but it is super, super cool. You can see there's the markings on it. Southern and Western states designed to accompany Cornell's high school geography. And there's a map from 1885 depicting Pennsylvania and the areas around it. If you guys can, can see that, it's kind of greenish, Pennsylvania here. Super cool to see all the old counties and different waterways and stuff. You know what I appreciate this so much was my grandfather, my father's father. He was uh, extremely into geography and he had all kinds of maps. He was very interested in uh, historical battles in the area that he lived, um, you know, as well as American Indians, you know, where their original um, you know, places they lived, all kinds of stuff like that. He had a slew of old maps, really, really interesting. Unfortunately, he had passed away, uh, you know, many years ago now, and uh, he is dearly missed, but I know this is something that he would certainly love, and, and I think it's really cool. I think I'm gonna frame it up and maybe put it in the office. Um, Bernardo also sent some, he mentioned smoking paraphernalia, and this is the coolest thing ever. I've never seen these before. He has two different um, cigar cutters. I've never seen this style of cutter. This one has a sleeve and the cutters on the inside. Okay, you can see here's the back of it and here's the front. It's tapered, all right? And then we have like the cat eye shape here. And as you push this forward, you can see the blade is also angled. So you'd rest your cigar in here and then you just, you know, come across and it would make your, your cut. Super, super cool. I mean, just really, really nice. I love antique and old stuff. And particularly because I'm into pipes and cigars, this is uh, very special to me. So here's another style of cutter, which is really unique. Of course, these have little uh, little rings. You can throw this on your keychain. You put your cigar on the end here. This has kind of a pivoting piece. So there's your blade. All right, you put your cigar on the end. You would line this up properly so it would fit in. And then you just swipe across, and that would make your cut. Super cool. And my favorite of all even has its own little carrying case, is this old um, pipe holder. Works similar to a uh, uh, cigarette holder. Super classy. And you're saying that this one has the rose gold on here and the amber stem. Just super cool. Actually have the jeweler's loop, so you can look at the markings here. On the front, you can see it looks like H and F. And then there's uh, some other markings there as well. And you know, there's all kinds of websites that are dedicated to, you know, showing what these markings mean. Um, but just, just super cool. I really like this. I did try the first thing when I got these is I broke out a Rosa de Cuba, which is some of the cigarellos that I do smoke, and the diameter is a little bit too wide for this one. But I think I'm gonna actually seek out some some cigarellos that I might like because I'd love to use this thing. I mean, it's a really cool piece for a collection. But I love to I love to use it. You know why not? It's uh, I like all I like pretty much all old timey things, and this is certainly old timey. Um, very very interesting, and you know very functional too. So I will certainly use this. It's just a matter of finding the right uh, cigar to fit it. But uh, super classy, and the map just uh, you know ties it all together. All right, guys, another unboxing here. Two different things. I have a package from Nick in Jersey, I believe, and Dylan from California. So we're gonna start with um, Nick. Let's see, did I have that right? Yep, Nick from Jersey. And I'm not gonna say the town in Jersey, but um, I will say that I went to this mall uh, all the time. In fact, I went to that mall most of my life until I moved to Pennsylvania. It's that mall in New Jersey, which is awesome. And uh, I actually used to go to Sizzler all the time, every Sunday with my mom and my grandmother. My grandmother was living in a home at the time 
and our whole family would go and do a buffet with her every single Sunday to make sure that, you know, she could see the family. So anyway, that wall, that's what I'm talking about. Um, you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> not all of you do, but some of you do. All right, so cut into this using the bruiser. I'm telling you, I'm really starting to really like this knife. When I first got it, um, I mean, I liked it. It was okay. The quality was there. It's uh, pretty decent, but I was a little disappointed by the steel choice for it. Um, but, you know, at the end of the day, it's a pretty badass knife. It's working great. So, let's see what we got here. We have notes. And, wow, it's like a book. <laughs> All right, cool. And we have a Christmas present. Oh, we have two Christmas presents. No, we have three, technically. There's three there. All right, well, you guys know what I said. Christmas presents will be set aside, and these will be opened on Christmas. But I have to mark them and make sure that I know who they're from. So let's check out the note first. Let's make sure I can read this. Uh, yeah. All right. Feel free to read uh, all of it on camera. All right, cool. To Cutler Lover Jeff, that's me. Hey man, what's up? Not much, just reading your letter. Uh, just writing to say Merry Christmas and just to thank you. I'm 16 and I love knives, gear, etc. Uh, and um, Bar bar Home, you're my, f oh, Bar None, you're my favorite channel on YouTube. Thank you very much, I appreciate that. Your videos are awesome and well made. Uh, it's nuts, you're an awesome guy who is a real person to look up to. Well, I appreciate that. That means a lot. Uh, every day of your life, uh, you seem to love, and it's inspiring. Your family, like Christina and Gus and your dad, are genuinely awesome and kind. Uh, got you some <laughs> shitty gifts, but uh, beep, <laughs> F it. Uh, it's, uh, it's what I could do, what I could muster up. Hope you enjoy, and thanks for everything. Um, beard up, I think it says. <laughs> beard up from Nick. All right, Tactical Elvis on YouTube and Instagram, formerly Jersey, Jersey something reps, Jersey reps. More letter to come in the future. Uh, also so cool that you meant you went to Rockaway Mall. Okay, after all that, thank you very much. Uh, I can say what it is, Rockaway Mall. There you go, Rockaway, New Jersey. Also so cool that you went to Rockaway Mall. Uh, I live like five minutes from there. So there you go, yes. Rockway Mall in New Jersey is where we used to go to sit. The sizzle was not there anymore. And actually, my sister, when she was little, they used to have like a discovery zone. I don't even know if those things still exist. It was basically like a giant playhouse for kids. It was super cool. And even though I was a teenager, me and my friends would go and use her as an excuse to, to play on the, you know, the jungle gym thing. But anyway, Merry Christmas. Ho, ho, ho. Uh, the Christmas book, a coloring book. Oh, cool. Actually, really cool. Jeff, Christina, Gus, uh, sorry I spelled wrong. Merry Christmas, hope you have a great Christmas from my family to yours, cheers. Nick, this is awesome. Oh my God, this is for Kaylin. So friggin' cool. No way, that's awesome. All right, well I will definitely give this to her. Thank you so much, that's really, really cool of you. I'm gonna keep your Christmas card with the gifts, so when I do that video and you know, open those up on uh, camera, I'll know who they're from. So thank you so much, Nick. That is super, super cool. And uh, Kaylin will get this. I should be able to see her soon, and she will get this coloring book. So thank you so much. Okay. Now we have a package from Dylan on camera. I like how he crossed off every little thing on the box except for what it's supposed to be. Opened on camera. Thank you, Dylan, for that. All right, let's see. This one... Think, well, let's, see, let's look at the box here. Okay, that's a fold there. Looks like it opens on the top. I think. If not, we will make our own opening. Yeah, no. What is wrong with me? Why can't I open the box? You know what? Let's make our own damn opening. What do you think of that? The sharp knife, right? We'll have to find where the tape marks are. That's why we have sharp knives, so we can make our own openings. You guys can't even see that. It wasn't even on camera, was it? All right, anyway. There we go. Okay. So, to cut. 
<laughs> of course it's to cut. I wouldn't do anything other than take a knife out and cut it open. There we go. Okay. Oh my God, I'm stupid. I didn't see this because it was covered. I thought it said to cut like you put something purposely there for me to cut. No, it says two color lover. And if I was, wasn't such a dummy sometimes, I know that. All right, so first off, this looks like yeah, it has his personal address on the back. Um, all right, cool. I'll leave that on the back. All right, that's why no one sees it except for me. All right, my name is Dylan. I'm 15 years old from California who loves collecting knives and building computers, two of my main hobbies. In this box, you'll obviously see that there is a K-Bar Becker BK2 in there. If you somehow didn't get it before the letter, well, there's one in there. Oh, and if I forgot to put open on camera on the box, uh, please do so when you see this if you have the time. Take this BK2. I know you probably have like 40 of them. <laughs> uh, but I tried selling it. Nobody wanted it. So you take it. It's my gift from me to you. Well, sort of. I have a request. If you can, next time you go to make a shooting video, I love it if you can shoot this beefy knife with the with a Mosin or something of a higher caliber. It would make my month. And as far as I know, you'd be the first person on YouTube to shoot this knife on camera. You're responsible for sparking my interest in knives gear, uh, and I thank you for that. Let me make sure. Uh, yeah, all right. And I thank you for that. Um, you're one of my favorite YouTubers, and you're the first person I've sent anything to. Merry Christmas, or late Christmas, if that's over. Thank you for being unique on YouTube and uploading good stuff, Dylan. Uh, if you do not shoot the knife, I'd also love it if you could send it back to me scarred with, uh, with bullet, <laughs> with bullet in pads, puds, something, or maybe just put the bullet in the pad, like the envelope address on the back. All right. Well, let's see about this. It says this didn't really need bubble wrap. Did it? <laughs> no, probably not. Not since you want me to shoot the thing. Wow, that's crazy. Oh, man. This is a nice knife. I mean, no one wanted it, huh? The BK2. Such a shame. Well, you've requested it. I will deliver. I will shoot this knife for you. All right. So first I'm gonna try to, I guess I'll stick it in a, stick it in some wood, just like that. And we'll shoot the handle first up high. Then maybe get down, shoot that blade. Yeah, well, hell, I'm curious to see what happens. I mean, knives aren't meant to take bullets, but uh, it'd be pretty cool. I might start off, eh, yeah, you wanted something with a bigger caliber. We'll see, I was gonna say, I might start off with 22s to see if it can take it, but you let me know. Let me know in the comments what you guys think. Uh, should I start off with something small, work my way up, or cut the BS and get right to uh, something bigger, something destructive. But anyway, for Dylan, I will go ahead and shoot that. It'll be a nice snowy, icy video, because uh, I do love shooting in the wintertime. Super cold, the guns are cold, my hands are cold, my face are cold, you know, my, my fingers are stiff. It's, uh, it's difficult, and that's kind of what makes it fun, is to go out there, I mean, first of all, you know, when it's super cold out and snowing, it's beautiful. It's not comfortable, but it's beautiful. So what a serene place to, uh, or time to, uh, to shoot. So you will definitely see me shoot this thing. So that's that. All right, guys, so we have a, another package here. This one is from Ian in Delaware, and this one says fragile. We're using the um, minimalist here to open this. Make sure, nope, I want to cut through the note. Yeah, boo. Let's see. All right, so I just folded the bottom so you guys wouldn't see the email. Figure I keep it private. Hey, Jeff, thanks for the videos. Uh, hope you and the wife have a wonderful Christmas. Thank you very much. Same to you uh, and your family. I took the liberty of putting or liberty of putting a hair whittling freehand edge on the Kershaw because the factory edge sucks. Uh, if you can, please review this in the future. Thanks, Ian. All right, let's check it out. Ooh, ooh, a Kershaw. Actually, I actually haven't had a Kershaw in a while. I should uh, get more of those because I mean, I know Walmart's selling all kinds of models now. 
Let's check this out. Oh wow, how about it? You know what? I will do a review on this because I've actually had requests to review this model. Pretty interesting. Now, I don't know if this one actually says it. No, it doesn't. This is, a, I think, a Snap-on, or part of the Snap-on series. They had the, of course, you could see the wrench pocket clip, which is pretty cool, honestly. It's a 1445 8CR13 MOV. Now, I have to say, I can see that is a nice, you can see that shining up there towards the tip. Super nice. Very cool. Yeah, I will definitely give this a review. So I'm going to start carrying it, EDC it, see what I think. And you guys will see a review on this in the future. Thank you so much, Ian. That was super, super cool of you. Really, really appreciate it. Hope you and your family have an awesome Christmas. Okay, so I have a letter and I have another envelope here to open. You see, open on camera. The letter I already previously opened, but it didn't say open on camera. But when I opened it up, it did say I can read it on camera if I like. So I'm going to do just that. Okay, dear Jeff Cutley Lever, my name is Andrew and I'm from Michigan. First of all, I love your videos. I absolutely love the way that you review products, knives in particular. Uh, too many times you see reviews where uh, people have nothing bad to say, even when they are obvious problems. So thank you uh, again for such honest reviews. I really don't uh, have much of a reason um, to write you other than that I thought a handwritten letter would be a good thank you um, for the videos. So I am uh, 20 years old, or 20 years of age, and I love knives. My current favorite uh, that I own is the Kershaw Leak in Damascus Steel. Uh, the next knife I will get probably is a $100 to $150 range. I was thinking maybe either a fixed blade and or a neck knife. Any recommendations? Uh, there's so many good knives out there. Uh, actually, I'll tell you what, I'm doing a review on this um, Endura FFG very soon. I'm not sure the order of videos I'm going to post, but I highly recommend this for like 60 bucks. I know you're looking to spend a little bit more. Uh, maybe you want to look at like the paramilitaries and stuff, but I mean, there's so many great knives out there. The best thing you can do is just keep watching the videos, pick a design you like, and go for it. And then once you have a knife, you can decide, you know, what you like or don't like about it, and then go from there in choosing your next knife. And this is what we all do, knife collectors and and users and we continue this journey to find our perfect knife and when we do we keep buying knives anyway because we love them so you can't go wrong uh, as a starving college student uh, I like the most bang for the buck um, also I like the uh, some advice for you and your viewers uh, in a few months when I turn 21 uh, I would really like to get a CCW and a pistol not sure exactly which yet uh, but I have one problem <clears throat> My girlfriend, uh, wife material, very cool, I like that, uh, is like 95% against the idea of me uh, owning a pistol. My parents are also against the idea a bit. So what I want to know is how should I go about uh, warning them or warming them up to this? What should I do? Sorry for the, the giant block of writing. <laughs> That's okay. Um, keep up the awesome vids and thanks again, Andrew uh, from the Troy area in Michigan. P.S. Uh, congrats on the marriage. Merry Christmas. Uh, and please excuse all the spelling errors. Oh, don't worry about that. I, I suck at spelling. Um, P.P.S. Sorry. Last thing, I saw your review of uh, Tabanero, uh, and I am hooked on this stuff, so thanks. Yes, actually, I used Tabanero yesterday. It's funny. I was watching one of uh, Ted Barris' videos, and he did, like, an unboxing of some uh, hot sauce stuff, and... And he was talking about Tabanero, and it kind of got me in the mood. And I have so many, so much damn hot sauce in the fridge, it, I forget what I have sometimes. And I, I dug through a little pile in there and uh, enjoyed myself some Tabanero. So, anyway, um, yeah, gun advice. That is, it's tricky, man. It, it's sometimes it's hard to make a non believer into a believer. Everyone's entitled to the rights, but I mean, you know, Detroit, <laughs> come on now. Like, you need any, uh, you know, reason or excuse to have a, a gun there. Um, I don't know. You have to you have to kind of just sit down with the people and and talk it out. You know, not argue. It's very easy to argue uh, when you feel strongly about something. But you have to kind of, like, you can literally write a list of pros and cons. And you can see which one's bigger, you know. So sit down with your girlfriend or, you know, your parents or whatever. And say, hey, look, let's, let's do this in a, a sensible way you know, a way, a logical way, let's write down the pros and cons. And you'll find that there are a lot more pros in carrying a gun than there are cons. 
The only real cons in getting a gun, you know, if you've never had one before, is if you mistreat it, mishandle it, uh, or, you know, put yourself in dangerous situations. If you take precautions to do so, uh, you know, to, to make sure that, you know, nothing bad will happen and nothing bad will happen. Um, you know, it, it's... It's really not a bad thing. Guns are not bad. It's it's cliche to say guns don't kill people. People kill people, but it's so true. You know, a gun is just a tool. You know, a hammer can kill someone. Doesn't mean you're going to smack them in the face with one. Uh, the only thing with firearms is that it's easier to have accidents than, say, you know, having a hammer. Um, but yeah, use logic. Use common sense. You can use some different uh, examples and, and perhaps persuade them, you know. Um... That's, that's about the best advice I can give, is to, to literally just write out a list and then have them look at it. And even then, they might still just be against the idea. You have to really address their fears, and you have to ensure them that those fears won't come true because of this, this, and this. You know what I mean? You have to really talk it out. That's the best way you can do it. Uh, Christina is very much for guns. She does not carry one yet. Um, she's not quite comfortable doing it yet, and I totally respect that. And when she is, I will certainly go through the process with her of getting her own and, and do all that kind of stuff. Guns aren't for everyone, you know, but the people around you, you know, should respect your decisions. Uh, I know so many people who uh, are in situations where, like, they carry guns and their friends find out and then they don't want them over their house anymore, around their kids, like, all kinds of stuff. And it's, it's kind of ridiculous, you know. Uh, owning a gun and carrying one doesn't define you as a person. Uh, all it does is show that you're, you know... You're thinking outside the box and, and maybe taking an extra uh, extra step in your life to, uh, you know, protect yourself. But anyway, uh, I wish you the best of luck with that. It's uh, certainly a hard thing to do is convince someone who's against guns um, to maybe, you know, consider your feelings about them and the reality of things. Your girlfriend, your parents' exposure to guns have probably just been what they've seen on TV and the news. And that's always negative. You never hear about the story where the guy saved someone's life with a gun. You only hear about the stories where people were robbed and pillaged and raped using those guns. Um, so unfortunately, they have a very negative light in media, and that's the only exposure that your girlfriend has to it, as well as your parents. So anyway, I would uh, suggest exposing them to some good gun stories. Pop up some stories online, watch some videos, show them good positive things where people use guns, enjoy them, and nothing bad happens. That's the best thing you can do. All right, so the next uh, package here, this comes from Edward in Arizona, looks like. To rip into this, let's see what we got. Ooh, nice letter. Badass. Cool. Recycled firefighter. Oh, no way. Is this the, oh man, you know what this looks like? This looks like the, uh, ah. Uh, What's it called? The hose. The hose from a uh, you know, fire truck. The fire hose. Very cool. You guys know I'm in the market for a wallet. I like that a lot. All right, so let's read this letter. I don't want to show an address here. I don't want to cut any of the message off either, so hopefully that is not part of the letter. Okay, good. All right. So, let's make sure I can read this on camera. Looks like, looks like I can. Okay. Dear Jeff, uh, first I want to say congrats on getting married. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. Also, I hope you and your family and Gus are having a great Christmas and hope you have a great New Year's. Now, my name is Edward Kill. Uh, I am 19 years old and I would love your, I love your videos and your channel in general. I've been subscribed for about two or three years. I can say you are one of my favorite... Um, knife slash EDC slash flashlight reviewers. Anyway, I've been um, into knives and flashlights and just EDC uh, gear for about a year or a little over a year. Recently, I just got my second Spyderco Paramilitary 2 um, and Spyderco Dragonfly 2 with ZDP 189. I love them both. Now, in the package, I included a slim wallet made by a firefighter, also known as Recycle Firefighter, on Instagram and makes slim wallets and other products out of fire hose. I actually carried this red one for about a month and loved it. If you could do a review on it sometime, that would be awesome. Also, I'm sorry it's not in green. That's okay. It is Christmas red, which is awesome. This is super cool. I think I will do a review on that in the future. I like that. I'm going to have to check out his Instagram, too. I have to follow some more people on Instagram. I'm not doing my job there. I, I, it, it gets so busy with all kinds of stuff. I, I hardly ever pop on, but I really do mean to, uh, to use Instagram more. 
But uh, anyway, uh, well, I think I wrote enough. And yes, I know I have pretty girly handwriting. <laughs> yes, you do. I wish I had good handwriting. I have chicken scratch. Sometimes I'll write a note and I can't even friggin' read my own handwriting later. Uh, also expect more letters and gifts on occasion. Keep the videos coming. Sincerely, Edward. Edward, that was so cool. Thank you so much for this. I really like it a lot. Definitely, oh, it's elastic. Definitely going to uh, check him out. Recycle Firefighter. All right, guys, so I have a couple more things here. First, I'm going to open this uh, envelope, and this is coming from Canada, and it's coming from Michael, or maybe it's uh, Mikkel, and it says open on camera. It says Christmas card contest. Do not open until recording video. Okay. Well, this is the uh, unboxing video, so I will uh, put this with the uh, other cards for the contest, though. So I have the Endura here. Carefully cut that off. Make sure I don't cut into the contents. And, oh wow. Oh, look at that. 2014. It's old Queen Elizabeth. It's a Canadian dollar. Super cool. I'll make sure, let's see. I don't want to show the address. Here we go. I also want, don't want to damage the inside. Cool. All right, so let's see what we got here. Move this stuff over for a second. Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. And the back says, for yours, your eyes only. Okay, so let me peek under here and see what we got. Okay, so this is contact information. I will certainly send you a nice uh, email. That was smart to do that, to cover it too. Because I get people sending stuff all the time and I always feel bad because I don't want to show their address or anything. So that is super cool. I'm going to put this with the um, other cards for contest entry. And uh, thank you so much for this. It's absolutely awesome. Super cool. So Merry Christmas to you and your family. Okay, I have uh, three more things here. Actually, I'm going to start off with this. I got a letter. And it might have been the other part of this video. This is from Dan, and that's his screen name, Dragon7697. And he said that he sent me two cell phone covers. Okay, so I don't know what these look like, so we're going to open it right now. Actually, we don't need a knife for this. Oh, dude, look at this. That's cool. I like that. Very industrial. Very cool, and here's another one. Oh wow, it's got a black Magpul. All right, I'll definitely have to swap off. I would like to try this one though too. This one's really cool looking. So thank you so much, that was really, really cool. You'll definitely use these. You'll probably see this in the EDC update because I'm still using the same phone as you guys know. So thank you very much. Merry Christmas to you and your family. Uh, next I have a letter and a package. So let's read the letter first. It says, Dear Cutley Lover, I ordered this knife last summer. You have done a review on it, and I was sold on it. However, when it came in the mail, its condition didn't live up to my expectations. So then I sent it back on warranty. I got a phone call from customer service where they were very rude and said that there was nothing wrong with the knife, but did offer to resharpen it. When I got the knife back, it wasn't special to me anymore because of the bad memories. So I figured that you would enjoy it because you weren't a part of that situation. If you don't like it or have one just like it, I wouldn't bother me if you traded or sold it. Just make sure to make a video on whatever you traded for. Thank you uh, for all your videos. Merry Christmas to you and Christina. Sincerely, uh, Aiden. Aiden, thank you so much. That was really, really nice of you. I'm not sure which one you're talking about, so I'm excited to see. So we'll bite into the end of here. I actually don't want to cut the box underneath. Oh, wow, we got a case. All right, so now I'm really intrigued. What model could this be? I really have no idea. Should we, yeah, let's peek in, because I know it probably says it on the other side. Ah, oh, super cool, it's a rust lock. That is awesome. Oh my God, that is really, really nice. Very uh, American with the, uh, the red and the blue there. That is beautiful. It is nice and sharp. It's too bad. I really wish you had a better experience with it. I mean, it's, it's real sad to me. I mean, I've always had really good experience with uh, um, Case, you know, in the past. But it is a beautiful knife, and I, 
I do not own this one, so I'll certainly uh, you know use it, enjoy it, EDC it for a while, maybe I'll do a review on it. You know, talk about uh, rust locks again, or you know use this as part of another video. So thank you so much. I mean that's super super cool. Yeah, I really appreciate it. And the last one here is another package and a card, and I will also add this to the card contest. It says Merry Christmas, ho ho ho. <laughs> All right. Jeff Christina Gus. All right, Merry Christmas. Hope you have a great Christmas from my family to yours. Cheer. Uh, cheers from Nick. Thank you, Nick. Really appreciate that. It was super cool of you. It really, I mean, just amazing. Um, I'm totally blown away by people sending stuff all the time. And, you know, even something like this to, to write a little card and wrap up a nice present, it's just, it really blows me away. And I'm extremely thankful. So, so thank you so much. I'm going to open this up. I don't know what this is, but it's nice and soft. So we will say, I don't, definitely don't want to use a knife for this. I don't want to cut into it. Oh wow, it's a beanie. Peterbilt. Super cool. It's got some flames on it. Oh, that is awesome. Well, I could certainly use more hats for the winter. So thank you so much. It's super, super cool of you. I really appreciate it. So thanks everyone for watching. Um, you guys definitely will see a... Um, a Christmas card video. It'll probably be right after Christmas because uh, I want to show every card and read all of them to you guys uh, and just take the time to do that. So it will be a longer video. So stay tuned for that. In the meantime, Merry Christmas to everyone and uh, a Happy New Year coming up. Thanks for watching. Hope you guys have a great day. I'll see you soon.